Hi there, this is a training video session by GG Technologies. From this training session you can understand how to configure site permissions in SharePoint 2010. Let's have a quick glance about this topic. Configuring site permissions is not a single process, which includes configuring permission settings for users, groups and all other objects within a site. In this session, I will show you how to create a group and configure its permissions. How to add user to a group. How to check the user permissions in a site. To configure the site permissions, you should be the member of Site Collection Administrators group. Ok, let's start. First, let me add a group to a site. In your website, go to Site Actions and select Site Settings. In Site Settings page, select People and Groups. Now I click the Groups option in the left pane, which shows all the available groups in the SharePoint site. To create a new group, I click U, which opens the Group Creation page. In this section, provide the name and description for your group. Specify the group owner. By default system account is set as group owner. Carefully configure the group settings, I select my own options. For membership requests careful select your option, I select no. Then select the permission level for the members of this group. Here I select read permission, for the members of the SharePoint group, on this site. Finally press, create to complete, the group creation process. Now view the group, which was just created by me. Let's add a user to this group, for that select the group and press new. Then a new people picker box appears, in that type the username and press OK. Now a new user is added to this group, and this user inherits the group permission. Ok, let's check the user permission in this site. Here, I log in, as the newly created user to the SharePoint site. Then I select shared documents, in which I open this document, and read its content. Now, I try to edit this document. But the edit option is absent which is because, this user inherits only the read permission from its group. To make it more clear, I select, View Properties, which confirms user's permission level. We hope that this training session, on configuring site permissions in SharePoint 2010 made your task, simple and interesting. We feel happy in providing you with the training on, how to configure site permissions in SharePoint 2010. For queries, feel free to contact us at guruji at ggtech.com. In our forthcoming training session you can check out how to implement document management in SharePoint 2010. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.